The article discusses the limitations of traditional meta-analyses in systematic reviews, which often lack sufficient statistical power to detect or refute large intervention effects. This is why meta-analyses should be considered as interim analyses on their way towards required information size. The authors propose a methodology for interpreting meta-analysis results using trial sequential analysis, TSA, which offers adjusted confidence intervals and restricted thresholds for statistical significance when the diversity-adjusted required information size and corresponding number of required trials have not been reached. TSA provides a frequentistic approach to control both type I and type II errors, and the authors define the required information size and corresponding number of required trials in a meta-analysis and the diversity measure of heterogeneity. The article presents examples drawn from traditional meta-analyses using unadjusted naive 95% confidence intervals and 5% thresholds for statistical significance, and demonstrates that TSA can reduce spurious conclusions in systematic reviews. Several empirical studies have shown that TSA provides better control of type I and type II errors than traditional meta-analysis. Overall, TSA represents a more robust and reliable method for analyzing meta-analytic data. This article was authored by J.R.N. Wetterslev, Janus Christian Jacobson and Christian Glad. We are article.tv, links in the description below.